system. It doesn't surprise me at all. I have a letter for you. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. No concern for his father. I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Matt will not forgive the renegades for that. Hello, I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom? Mommy! It's a letter from Dad! Careful, don't tear the letter when you open it. I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. Carrier here. Here's a message. Thank you. <sighs> well, it's about time. Um, pardon? It's from my boyfriend. He's finally leaving his wife. Ah, oh, congratulations. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. Hey, Driscoll. Job's done. All packages delivered safely. Well, that's what I want to hear. Come by when you can. I've got something for you. Remember, you can always take the Metro to get here quicker.
Good work, hotshot. What did you think? All sorts of letters and recipients out there. It's the network, like I said. You just helped expand it. Looks like you're carrier material after all. Are you ready and willing to take the oath? Uh, really? Uh, pilgrims aren't that formal, uh... Maybe that's part of your problem, hotshot. If you want this, then you'll repeat after me. Fine. Let's do this. I, initiate of the Carrier's Guild. I, initiate of the Carrier's Guild. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. By the power granted me by the Carrier's Guild, I hereby proclaim you a full member. Initiate rank. Welcome to the fold, hotshot. Let me know when you're ready to start. I'm ready, Driscoll. Got an assignment for me? Well, I do, but first let me lay some carrier history on you. Okay. I'm a bit of a history buff, like. Did you know that the first documented postal system was in Egypt, around 2400 BC? I did not. Aye. It's how the pharaohs sent out decrees, creating the network. Think of the ancient tradition you're upholding just by delivering a piece of meal. I will. I, I promise. See that you do, hotshot. Now deliver this message. It's marked urgent. So I'm only sending you out with this one. Now don't get distracted. It'll get where it needs to go.
look, it's a baby carrier. So much for this being an elite group. Pilgrim? Fuck that shit. Well, what's your problem? You better not become my problem. For all we know, you could be the next Derek waiting to happen. The next who? What the hell are you talking about? Never you mind, baby carrier. Just keep your nose clean around here. And I'll be watching you. Great. Then you can watch me flip you the bird. Oh, great. Baby Carrier's a comedian, too. This place is going to shit. Coming from you, I guess I'm just upholding your legacy. That's just Jack. Ignore him, compañero. It doesn't look like he's gonna let me ignore him. Tranquilo. His bark is worse than his, uh... Chew? Is that the word? Me amo Jaime, by the way. Being a carrier is dangerous. We're a small group, and we rely on each other. So, you're a pilgrim. Good. You've seen and done things. Sometimes, los novatos get people killed. Aiden, did this Derek get someone killed? Luckily, no. Derek was just plain loco, an adrenaline junkie. We all take this seriously, but he was obsessed. In a way, you had to admire his dedication, even if he was fanatical. So what happened? Left the other carriers with tough deliveries in the lurch. What became of him? Booted out on his ass. No room for a Scarface in the carrier's guild, amigo. Recipe for death and disaster. Let me guess. Jack led the campaign against Derek. And he was very effective, amigo. I'm sure he was.
Carrier's Guild here. I have a message. I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, my. What's wrong? A client of mine is concerned about her unborn child. She's feeling some pain, so I'd better go and check on her. I'm a midwife, you see. Couldn't her husband have come to get you? Lord, no. She's in hiding from him. You see, the baby's not his. What he'd do if he found her? You can't tell a soul. You mustn't. I see. The secret's safe with me. Thank you. Now, excuse me, I, I must gather my things. Finished. Well done, Hotshot. Your first delivery was a success. Did I do the Pharaoh proud? Funny. If by Pharaoh you mean me, then I. I approve. Now come back when you're ready for more. They're not all gonna be that easy. for more. That's the spirit! And before I send you on your next run, I have another history lesson for you. This time, I'm gonna take you farther back to Mesopotamia. Like, uh, 9,500 years ago, when writing itself was invented. Mm, writing? Wow. Expressly for the sake of deliveries, no less. People used to order goods by sending out clear tokens. Each one had notches carved in them to show how many items they wanted. So I'd send you a clay token with three notches, and you'd send me three items, like uh, fish or hats. Aye, something like that. It's what started everything we do. Everything the Carrier's Guild is about. Oh, I guess we're not just messengers after all. No. Now take this box where it needs to go. It's fragile, so be careful.
I have a package for you. What's my brother sent this time? Oh, <laughs> very funny, Angelo. What is it? A clock. A busted one. Yeah, I was careful. You did fine, son. He sent it busted. His little joke. I don't get it. My brother Angelo is a cynic. I'm 84. He's the baby of the family at just a year younger. So he sends a busted clock. Who needs a clock these days, especially at our age? What is time anymore? Do you even know what day it is, precisely? Well, not really. Right. It's just the next day after the day before, and that's how it'll go till we die. And that's funny? Okay, so Angela won't be headlining any comedy club soon, if there were any. But this old man finds him amusing. <laughs> Thank you, son. Good night, Aiden. <laughs> It looks like you've got another notch on your clear token, hotshot. That was an eccentric old man. Flavio? Aye. Well, he and his brother are quite a pair. Old as dirt. Probably pre-Mesopotamian. Not everyone out there is that entertaining, though. You'll see. Well, that is if you want to keep at it. Come back when you're ready for another delivery. for me this time, Professor. Professor? <laughs> You're catching on. Nice one. Today is envelope day. Humanity's been using envelopes since before the Egyptians made them out of papyrus. But it was the Chinese who invented paper envelopes at the suggestion of some smart guy who realized that papyrus, silk, and other materials were too darned expensive. Maybe that's why they were called cheapo. Because that guy was a cheapo. Stands to reason. All right, Hotshot. Lesson time's over. I've got some envelopes that need to go to different places. Well, you can count on me.
I'm from the Carrier's Guild. D did our parents send you? Who is it? Shh, baby. How did you find us? That's what the Carrier's Guild does, but no one else knows. Not even whoever sent that letter. I it's from your parents. And my dad, too. What did they say? To come home. That they forgive us. That we can work this out. Let's go, Mickey. I don't want to hide anymore. I want to go home. It could be a trap, baby. A, a trick to get us to come back and then separate us once and for all. Please, Mickey. I can't live like this. I miss my mom. But I love you, baby. I don't want them getting between us again. But, Mickey! I'm gonna leave you kids to it. Good luck. Letter for you, sir. I'm sure it wasn't easy to get here. Doesn't have to be easy. I just do my job. Well, I sure am thankful for you and the Carriers Guild. Here's a little something extra. Oh, that's not necessary. Nonsense. Take it, my thanks.
Welcome back, Hotshot. I've got news for you. Uh, what now, Professor? You gonna tell me that because the Chinese invented paper, they invented the paper cut, too? I already figured that out. Are you gonna keep being a smart arse, or are you gonna listen? As of this delivery, you've been promoted from initiate to regular member of the Carrier's Guild. You deserve it, Hotshot. Keep it up, and you'll earn another rank in no time. I have to say, Driscoll, I enjoy the work. Well, that's good to hear. Because with higher rank comes higher privileges. You now have access to the guild lockers hidden around the city. We stock them full of useful supplies, so you don't have to come back here to top up. Take this key and look for our mark. Like it or not, you're one of us now, hotshot. I do like it, Professor. Thank you. dry right now. Always good to see you, Hotshot, but you'll have to come back when I have some deliveries. Always good to see you, Hotshot, but you'll have to come back when I have some deliveries. Is that... Oh, sorry. I thought she... You're Daisy, right? Is anyone else here? Paul sent me. He's been worried about you, Fitz, and your team. Where is everyone? At the Larrabee building, on Milton Court. Not far from here, by the modern art sculpture. Fitz and Francis arranged to meet there. Francis seems more civilized than his brother Avery. But ask me. <laughs> I think he just hides his crazy better. I warned Fitz not to trust Francis, but my son, sometimes he's far too trusting. Chances are he waltzed right into an ambush. Please, check the Larrabee. You'll see the sign. Okay. How will I recognize Fitz? He's medium height, dark brown hair, bright blue eyes. Uh, blue jeans, black jacket with a, a pin on it. The Eye of Horus. <laughs> His lucky charm. For mystical protection, he says. The Eye of Horus. What's that? That old Egyptian eye. Like that one. <laughs> Silly superstition, maybe, but right now, I hope it works. Francis's camp is up in one of the condominiums. 
at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Eugene Garnier Thruway, where the E-10 collapsed. Look there, too. Bring my boy back, and the team. Hear me? Roger that. I'll find them. Just get back to Paul at the canteen. This started out as a friendly meeting. It didn't end that way. Scavengers. Strange. with a note attached? Looks like an ambush. Might be time to look in on Francis. Maybe he has some answers. Thank <laughs> you. 